Hey, 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 this is Straight to the Truth coming at you. I decided I would um, jump on here for a little bit. Not going to be here um, for that long, but um, I wanted to discuss um, something, and I thought, why not come on here and discuss it with you guys? How's everybody doing? Everybody having a good life? Nice Saturday evening? I sure hope so. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm trying to make more time and start doing more videos. I had to order a, um, a light and, you know, a mic and all that stuff. So we're going to see how it's going to um, work out. But since I'm sitting here at work, I figured I would jump on here and um, talk about something <laughs> that bothers me. And I'm from what I've been seeing on YouTube and the news, I think a lot of people... Um, a bother so of course what we're gonna do we're gonna come straight to the truth and we're gonna talk about it um but before we get get into this i need y'all to um like follow subscribe hit the bell that's right up here in the corner so that way um when i do post something you'll be the first to get it and you will know so anyway i know it ain't just me and nothing against nobody. But I am trying to figure out what is this about opening the border and just letting anybody and everybody. The mamas, the daddies, the grandmas, the grandpas, the dogs, two sheep, a cow, and anybody who wants to come through to the U.S. And who's being held liable to have to pay for this? It sure ain't the gov government. It's not Biden. It's us taxpayers. It's people that pretty much live check to check, just like myself and probably half of y'all that are on YouTube. Like, this is out of control. It's out of control. It's ridiculous. And... I am not, I'm not happy about it at all. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Let me just say, I have no issues with somebody that's trying to better their life. That's some, somebody that wants to um, do better among themselves. Somebody that wants to protect their family. I, I, I don't have no problem with that. You want to come over, you want to get a good job, you want to work, you want to build some stability, you want to be able to buy yourself a house, you want to keep your family safe, you want to keep your wife safe, you want to, you, you want to keep your husband safe, um, you want your kids to be safe, you're tired of all the murdering, the killing, um, you're tired of um, um, the cartels, you're, you're tired of all the criminals, you're, you're tired of living raggedy, I get it. I get it, but the way they are doing things is not the right thing to do. I mean, they're coming over here, they, they're giving them a card and putting money on the card. What was that? I was told, like 2500 2, 2, or something on the card? You're giving them food stamps? I can't even get no damn food stamps. Let me tell you something. Okay, we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty of this. I mean... I can't even get no food stamps. Let me tell you something. I remember um, a couple of years ago, I had to be out of work because I had hurt my knee and I had to end up having knee surgery. And for the first three months, I was using my PTO, okay? When that ran out, I also had, luckily, I'm that type of person, I had invested in short-term disability on my job. So each pay period, they was taking money out, so I was able to use that. But it took it about a month for it to get started, okay? So by that time, my PTO don't ran out. Um, I'm waiting for the short-term disability to kick in. I, I couldn't get no food stamps. I couldn't, okay? By the time everything started to kick in, the short-term disability and all that stuff, let me tell you, um, I was behind on everything. Everything. You know, I mean, it was crazy. It was not too many places I could turn to for help. I just had to wait it out. And the little money that I did had, I had to really, really budget it. You know, yeah. 
But y'all got these people coming over here and y'all giving them places to stay, vouchers, Section 8, money on a car, food stamps, medical. And who's on it? On, on, on the heads of us taxpayers. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody happy about that. Shoo. Ain't nobody. Uh-uh. No. And like I said, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's not even really so much about the migrants. It is not. It is about Biden, who don't know what he's doing up there in that White House. Sleepy Joe. I wish I would vote for him. I hope Trump Trump can get on the um ballot because I, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be voting for Trump. Yes, I am. That's right. Y'all heard me right. This black woman is gonna be voting for Trump. See, I used to go with the Democrats because I felt like the dream that they were selling, and the, you heard me. The big word is selling, is what I was buying. But as I've gotten older, it's exactly what it is. It's a damn dream. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care. I don't care how racist Trump is right about now. I don't care how many punanis he grabbed. I don't care anything about that. I care about all these people they letting cross this border and, and run this country into more debt than what they already in. How many homeless people we got out here? How many veterans are homeless homeless that we um that fought for for us? That if it wasn't for them, half of us wouldn't be here. But they out there sleeping under bridges, sleeping on the streets, sleeping in cardboards. Yeah, like it just it don't make no sense. Um so yes, 2024, I am going to be um um or or I'm gonna be I'm gonna be putting casting my vote for Trump. Um, it is because you know I don't think the way I used to think. I, I think about um survival and retirement, and if we keep letting people in there like Joe Biden and Camilla or whatever her name is, by the time I get to be a certain age, we're not gonna have nothing. <laughs> Did anybody hear, okay, I'm 55. Did anybody hear that they are trying to raise the age of retirement where you can go collect your benefits to 67 or 70? Can you, Im can you imagine me being 70 years old and, and, and being a nurse trying to help a resident? We both gonna be on the floor. Like, no, I, I am not down with all that. You know, it's all a scam. Yeah, that's right. You heard it right. 2024. I'm, 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 I'm. It's all about Trump. I don't care. Um. You know, ain't nobody. This this place is, is for the birds and the bees. It's, it's a mess. It really is. Um. Y'all better start to wake up. Y'all better start to wake up. Cause. If you leave this up to sleepy Joe Biden, um, we're going to be done. Like, you got people over here that's hungry, need a place to live. But another thing is, <laughs> what is all this? You Why are you sending millions and millions of dollars over to other countries? Fix what you need to fix over here first. Like, yo, Biden is a joke. He really is. Can't talk about nobody. He's no better than Trump. I'm sorry he's not. You know? And and you start to realize that as you get older. Mm-mm. Can't just sit back and not say nothing. All these thousands and thousands of um, migrants coming in here. Um, they're committing crimes and stuff already. Like, no. We can't just sit back and allow this. You know, they don't want Trump in here because they know. You heard what he said on one of his, um, I was listening to him on um, this show, and he was like, we're going to have to do a, a massive, massive deportation and get them up out of here because we cannot 
afford to have all these people over here just coming like that. And you see the mayor of Texas, honey, he's, he's, he's starting to fight back. He's like, no, we're not going to do this. We're not going to keep doing this. We, our Texas people are going to end up suffering behind this. Um, you know, it, it's really, it's really sad. You know, they ain't, he ain't, Biden ain't worried about, he's sitting up there in a the big white house. He don't worry about where his next meal going to come from. None of that. You know? But we taxpayers is supposed to front the bill for this. You sending no money over there to help with useless ass wars. That's the problem with U.S. U.S. needs to mind their business, sit down somewhere, and leave these other countries alone and quit trying to be bullies. You know? Because I'm not about no war. I don't, I don't care nothing about that mess. I really don't. I don't care. You can disagree with this video. If you don't like it, unsubscribe. Get out of here. Go do something with yourself. But my belief is my belief. And like I said, we tell the truth over here. This straight to the truth. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. We, we don't call the channel state straight to the truth for nothing. You know, but keeping it real. This the way we feel. This the way we feel. Everybody has right to the way they feel. You, if you okay with them bringing the migrants out here and you, you paying all your taxes, because you know what, it's gonna make taxes go up. You think you're already broke. You ain't seen nothing. Some of y'all gonna be not the the migrant gonna be living better than y'all. Y'all gonna be knocking on their door begging. You know, oh, you got two dollars. You got three dollars. And they're going to walk right past you and look at you like you're crazy. You know? But like I said, I am not against anybody who's trying to make a better life for themselves or their family. But I'm just, the way they going about, the way it's being done, it is not fair to people like myself who get up and come to a job and work 12 hours out of a day. It is not right. You know? It is not. See, Biden, them, they ain't worried about all these politicians and stuff that's, that's for this. They ain't worried about that because, you know what, they pockets is full. They pocketbooks are full. Hmm. You know? But we people that's around here getting mad money taken out of your check to help some migrant, you know, no, you got to, they got to figure something another way out. They got to figure something else. Like, for real. Because it, 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 this can't continue like this. It cannot. Yeah, so, you know, y'all better um start thinking about what's going on out here. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of y'all that would like to have a Section 8 voucher. But you can't get it. And they're going to give somebody a, a, a Section 8 voucher. They ain't got a job. So we paying their rent and stuff. But I bet you, you go down there to um, City Hall or wherever you're going to try to get some rental assistance, your ass going to get denied. You know, think about it. Hmm. Because um, stuff is getting real out here. You know, and I don't know, but what I do know is that um, it's time to think about how we vote. Don't just be going by the color red or blue. Don't be going by you don't like somebody because... Back when they was younger, they used to grab coochies. I'm not fond of that either. I, I don't like that either. But you, we need to be thinking about, especially people who are in my age generation and the ones coming behind us, like my kids and stuff, we need to be thinking about the future. Okay? We really do. Because think about it. If they trying to push retirement back to 67 or 70 in between there somewhere, why? Because they're using all our money that they're taking that's supposed to be for us when we retire and get old. They're using it for 
stuff like letting migrants come across the, the border to have a better life or whatever. I want a better life too. Yes, I do. I want a better life too. Or they're using it for wars, um, you know, or, I mean, just look it up. Stuff that doesn't make no sense, you know? So, yeah, y'all better stop being foolish and start thinking about what's, you know, really going on out here. Because, I don't know, it's crazy. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and talk about that for a minute. Um, I got to get back to work and do what I need to do. So, you know, y'all don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow for this video. Go on, do some research. Google what's going on with the migrant. Go look at some of these other people that are doing videos on these migrants coming in, you know, um, that are affecting states like Texas, Illinois, um, Chicago, uh, you know, it's bad. It's terrible out here. So, I mean, it is what it is. We have to be smart. We have to start looking who um, our representatives that we are putting in these positions and putting into these offices. Um, a lot of them is only for their self and their family, not for us. And you'll be surprised. The one you don't like the most or you think is selfish may be the one that may help us out of this situation. U.S. is in so much debt, it is ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, y'all go ahead, subscribe, like, and follow. Um, hit the bell so you'll know when I post a video. And y'all have a good evening. I'm out. Peace.